Okay, here is a video of uh, a damage, the damaged iPod. Um, it was shipped via FedEx by John Gilmore uh, to me, Richard Bailey, um, in Australia. Um, you can see the value there. Uh, this is not just an ordinary iPod. <coughs> it has been mod professionally modified by a company called Red Wine Audio to add in a large capacity solid state, solid state hard drive and to modify, modify the audio line out um, to turn it into a high um, fidelity device. <coughs> Um, so I'm just going to now show you the error. Um, I'm going to try and press the reset buttons on the iPod to try and get it to power up. There you've got it showing the battery error. The battery is fully charged. It was charged last night and hasn't been used since. And that's the other error it shows the fuzzed out frozen Apple boot screen and basically at the moment this is all that it's doing it's been it's been like this um, since it arrived um, I've been trying to get it to work and um, discussing with the manufacturer to see if there's any options to fix it but they have now advised me that it needs to go back to them in the US um, to have uh, the motherboard replaced and re and have the modification redone um, and that will cost um, about $300 for the actual work plus it has to be it'll have to be shipped to the US and back. I'm not sure how much that'll cost yet, but at least another, um, at least another couple of hundred, I would say, um, all up. So there's the video, um, and there's the details of the FedEx receipt. Um, just show you a close up if I can get it of the. Um, serial number on the iPod. I can't get it to display on the screen because it obviously won't power up. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to read that or not. If I, I can't really get it to focus in any better.